Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Karma Flow, the rock opera video game, and thank you for watching. Karma Flow is a third-person adventure puzzle platforming game, guys, all with a musical twist, of course, guys. Rock music, to be more specific, guys. And uh, this game is a perfect example of what the indie game scene is all about, guys. Just experimental gaming, you know. Uh, putting yourselves out there, your vision, and seeing kind of what happens. You would never see a AAA developer go, hey, let's take an opera and combine it with a video game. It, it's just, it's not going to happen. It's, it, this is a risk, this game, to say the least. Um, and, you know, the game does have some issues. I will say that for sure, guys. But to be fair, this is day one of released, guys. It released January 19th, 2014. And I feel like I should underline that when I reviewed this game, it was day one. Uh, so there is some bugs that need to be patched, some things that need to be fixed. Um, but otherwise, the game itself is very neat concept. It's very enjoyable. It really has a lot of cool ideas to it. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and check those out now, guys. We're going to go ahead and just start with the settings, of course. <clears throat> One thing I kind of want to have issue with is kind of the weird uh, control scheme. Uh, you do have controller support here, but I prefer keyboard and mouse. Uh, one thing I will suggest is that if you're going to play this game, turn the sensitivity of your mouse way down. Because otherwise your mouse just flies around the screen like crazy. Um, it's just a weird thing, so just turn it way, way down. If you plan on playing this game. Uh, now, of course, the music is a very big prominent part of this game. You know, the, 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 the rock opera part of it. Because nothing is ever explained to you. You have to listen to the lyrics of each song to figure out what's going on in that particular world. Or how that character's feeling. Um, all of it is explained through music. Like an opera. The only problem is... Is that... Um, it's not always audible. You can't always quite understand what they're saying. And if you didn't notice under audio, there is no subtitle features at all. And that is one thing that I find extremely weird, seeing how the music is such a big part of the game. You'd think that they would have put in subtitles kind of as an important feature. Uh, because, you know, while the music you can't understand most of the time, there's just times where the music gets like really high notes and you just... It gets blurred uh, in the background. So, you know, having those subtitles there would have been good to, you know, kind of get that complete story experience, get the entire experience of the game while still enjoying the music itself. But there is currently no subtitle features. And that's just, I wish it was there. E even for day one, I think that was very important to have. Uh, but it's not there. The game also has plenty of graphic manipulation, though. Um, and you can basically have ambient inclusion, bloom, depth of field, AA, VSync, all that good stuff, guys. The game does need a little bit more of optimization. It's just not running at 60 frames per second. I have a pretty decent rig, so I don't think it's my computer. Plus, I've heard other people are having issues. Um, I, plus, I have it at 720 right now, so there's really no reason for it not to be running at 60 frames per second. It's, it's just not. So, you know, that isn't a big deal to me. The game needs to be optimized a little bit. That's not a big deal at all to me. Uh, like I said, the game does feature partial controller support. <clears throat> you can kind of control things. I think it's just a little bit easier to play the game with the keyboard and mouse. I find it a little bit more uh, intuitive, as it were. But you certainly have that option available to you. So now I've been playing the game for about an hour now. An hour and 20 minutes or so. And um, a couple things to note, like if you were to hit new game, um, and we're probably going to have to do that in a bit, and you'll see what I mean, uh, it kind of puts you in this infinite loop um, of things that you have to do, and it just, it, it kind of takes you back to the main menu over and over again. And what I figured out when I actually started the game for the first time is you actually need to hit continue, and then that starts a new game. Um, so it just has a little bit of currently menu issues which need to be patched out. Uh, but beyond that, there is other issues to speak of here. And I don't want you to get the impression I didn't like Karma Flow. Karma Flow is a really cool game. I love the concepts. I love the, the visuals and the music and all that stuff. It just has things that need to be worked out. So right here, right now, I'm on the second world. And my objective is to kind of go around activating the switches. Because my character can kind of absorb life and give life to things. I'll give you an example of that right now. We'll go over here to this switch because this is kind of a safe switch right now. So as you can see how it's red, that kind of symbolizes that there is life inside of that object. But I can also take that energy away from that object and restore it to myself and kind of store it like a battery. 
which allows me to go around and give it to something else if I wanted to. But right now I need to activate all these switches, so all these switches need to be red. And if actually, if you can see, I use this ability called um, Resonate, which kind of shows me what is dead and what's alive. Purple basically is, you know, dead, or an enemy in this particular case. Those little floating dudes are currently enemies. And the red is the switches which I have activated and brought to life. Um, and that's how you're supposed to progress into the game. The problem is, is that um, I reloaded the game at this particular current junction, at this particular moment, and I actually had like a little floating buddy with me who was supposed to help me activate this key switch. He's gone. I don't know where he is. I don't know how to get him back. So I cannot progress the game fur further, even though all of the balls are now, you know, red instead of purple. And I should be able to activate it with my little ball dude who basically accompanies you, but he's gone. I can't do that. I can't progress into the game and see anything deeper. I can't, you know, talk to this dude who my guess is, he looks like the guy from that game show on Nickelodeon. His name is Olmac, I think. He looks just like him. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I can't really progress any deeper into this particular act. I'll have to restart the entire act. Um, I can try hitting the last checkpoint, but you, I don't think that works either. It doesn't restore the little buddy. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens. Um, like I said, because there's just so many menu issues right now, there's just a lot of issues the game's having um, currently. So we'll see if the loading last checkpoint thing works. <clears throat> Hopefully it does. It might not. No, it just brought me to the menu, didn't it? Let's see. I'm gonna hit continue here. Nope, it didn't work. Ah, that's a little frustrating. And there's no way to get him back. Well, alright. That kind of sucks. Uh, my character has the ability, like I said, he kind of manipulates life and death. He can kind of take life away from things. He can take it, you know, give it back to himself uh, and kind of restore things. You also have a double jump ability. You also have a dash run ability, which kind of sends you flying. And I've certainly fell to my death a plenty of time because of that. I'm going to try to hit new game and try to reload the game from the very beginning. Um, but I just felt like it was important to note that kind of bug. Hopefully the developers will get that fixed. Um, like I said, the game just has a lot of issues. Had I not restarted the game, I probably could have continued onward with the story and not had to deal with that. But in this particular case, I did. So it's something to keep in mind. The game just has issues right now, guys. It needs to get a couple things fixed. Uh, so this is the first board, I do believe. I'm not really sure at what particular point it started me. I did hit new game. Um, and all the environments are really neat looking. I will say that the game itself is very gorgeous looking. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. Let's go ahead over here and grab this. I think I'm near the beginning of the game. Not really sure. Oh yeah, okay, there she is. Now this particular world is all about these... It was like a conductor and his muse. Um, <clears throat> and kind of what happened between them and her fall to darkness and his lack of will to do anything about it, kind of. He kind of just gave up. Um, and the first act is really cool, and hopefully we can show off a little bit more of the mechanics of the game here. Uh, we're going to restore life to this thing right here. And it should. There you go. You get a basic idea of how that works there. The restoring of mechanics. These are other uh, karma uh, keepers, I guess, who were in the world. Okay, that was one of the examples of the music right there, guys. And um, right now, he gave me an ability. I didn't understand a word he said, though. <laughs> he basically sang all the words of what he was trying to explain to me, what these powers were. Um, and I got a basic idea of what I was supposed to do. But again, just the subtitles right there at that particular moment would be kind of useful because he kind of whispers his words. 
So, you know, you could be really good at hearing lyrics. You might have an easier time than I did, but there was just certain moments where I just couldn't hear him. But anyways, as you can see right here, it basically gave me a glide power. You know, these awesome looking wings. And I'd say the graphics in the game are pretty dope looking. The worlds, the main character himself is really cool looking. I love the designs of the entire game. It's kind of like this weird Tron, you know, thing. Everything has a glow to it. It's all really neat and surreal. And I love the graphics of the game. As well as the music of the game. It's fantastic. <clears throat> Give me your life essence. Right now we're following the muse. She's kind of losing her damn mind. Do I need to restore life to this thing? I forget. Yes, I do. Oh, God. Gosh dang it. Okay, I need to get on top of it this time. And do that. There we go. There we go. Alright. Uh, one thing I will say is that the controls are not exactly to my liking as much as they would be. Your character kind of just flings himself around depending on what button you push. Um, I've had a little bit of more experience with playing the game, but you'll you'll see what I mean when if you play the game yourself. Especially the dash button, you just kind of just launch like a missile. And uh, sometimes you can just launch yourself off an edge to your instant death, because the game does have a lot of instant death scenarios, a lot of places where you're just going to fall. Matter of fact, we're actually heading into one right now. As you can see, if you fall into that purple mist, you just die instantly. Uh, then it kind of reloads from a checkpoint, and that can get a little bit frustrating. That right there, that little white thing, is kind of a representation of a checkpoint, basically letting you know that you've reached a certain point in the game where if you were to die, you would just restart from this particular point. So let's go ahead and um, jump in. Let's jump this way. Uh, and I think we're supposed to keep hitting along this way. But yeah, like I said, the graphics are cool, guys. The game itself is really neat looking. It just has a lot of just issues that need to get fixed. Um, and hopefully they will get fixed. It really, I hope, they put in subtitles, guys. The game itself is very enjoyable, though. I mean, it's, it's not it's not too difficult. It's not too challenging. It's more about an experience than anything else. The puzzles themselves are <clears throat> very simplistic. It's not necessarily something you're going to be bashing your head against trying to figure out what to do. Uh, for sure. The game also just features Steam achievements. Do I need to jump that way? No, I got Oh, look at that. Who is there? Who is there? Oh, that's not her. That's the plant. I'm sorry. I thought that was her. Um, the game does feature Steam achievements currently. Uh, I know there's no Steam cards, unfortunately, but that may be something that gets added eventually. Um, also, the camera does this weird thing. The camera, like, sometimes will jerk itself downwards when you're playing the game, I noticed. It doesn't do that very often, uh, but it does it often enough that it kind of gets a little bit annoying. So the camera itself also needs just a slight bit of optimization, guys. It, it, it just has just a, a couple of bugs, basically. And I would probably suggest, if you are interested in this game, if you think you're going to enjoy the themes and the music and all that good kind of stuff, guys, get the game, because it is an enjoyable game. But if you think you're going to if you're the type who gets easily bothered by bugs or things not necessarily being optimized at day one, then you might want to hold off and wait for a patch or two for them to fix certain things up. And then get the game. Uh, plus, the longer you wait, in April they're going to release uh, Act 2, uh, and it will be completely free free for people who purchased uh, the first act, which is this one we're currently playing. Which is also pretty sweet. Uh, from what I understand, there'll also be a deluxe edition um, available to you. They're going to have a, a deluxe edition available. Uh, I'm not sure quite when that's going to be made available to people, but it'll come with like, you know, background art and all that good kind of stuff, guys. So let's just keep moving forward here. Where are we supposed to jump from? Not quite sure. Is it this way? Nope, that's instant death. I guess it's this way. Oh, okay, there we go. Hold on. I think it's just down the tree, maybe? No? Okay, let's just dump. Let's just jump and hope that we make this. Aha! 
There's also collectibles in this game, which you'll find kind of littered around the area. And that kind of activates like a music scene. I have no idea what she just said. Like I said, there's collectibles around the game um, that you can basically find. Um, I don't really know what they do. I don't know what their benefit is, but they're kind of littered and hidden throughout the game uh, for you to find. Now, I do believe... I think we were supposed to head downwards. I'm pretty sure. Or not. That would be instantaneous death. Uh, it took me a while to actually get through this particular part in the game because it doesn't really do... It doesn't really explain to you terribly where you're going. Like I said, it does, quite, it does kind of let you figure it out for yourself as to where you're supposed to go. And that could be a tiny bit frustrating. Um, I, do, I do remember I figured it out eventually. I think this is the right way, for instance. Or am I going backwards? It's very possible I'm going backwards. Yeah, I think I'm going backwards. Gosh dang it. Uh, let's continue moving along here, guys. But yeah, this gives you kind of a basic idea of what the puzzles are going to be like. The music, so the way it's going to basically work, the way it sings. Wait, no, we can't. We spawned over here. So where are we supposed to go, game? You want me to go this way? That way? Not terribly sure where I'm supposed to head, but I'm thinking it's this way. Yeah, I think it's this way. I think we're totally heading the right way now. Yeah, okay. That's gonna fall. Oh no, it's not. Not yet, anyways. <clears throat> there we go. Now we've made it through there. And now we actually kind of get to like a scene. That's okay, we're supposed to fall here. Another thing I kind of noticed is that every time you jump, you're gonna be doing a lot of it. You kind of have like this noise that you make. Usually make, anyways. Uh, it can get a little repetitious, a little bit annoying at certain times. The falling noise that he'll make, but for some reason he's not making it now, I don't know why. So right now we basically kind of need to restore the energy around her. She's not going to kill us. All she's going to try to do is just block our way. And you'll see that kind of like does damage to these rocks, basically. Kind of just lowers them. I don't know what her connection to that rock is. She just has one. And she's kind of launching like ice spikes at me. Um, and I'll just fly through these really quick. Because I've done this before, so I know kind of what I'm doing here. I think that's all of them right there. And that basically makes that vulnerable now. Oh, it's, oh, it's right. It's a big instrument. That's what it is. That's why it's going to affect her. Because it's music. And it blows her, I guess, away. And it kind of snaps her back to sanity for a second. The music itself is phenomenal. See, like I said, there's just times where you can clearly understand what they're saying, and then there's times where she goes into death metal mode, and I'm like, what the hell did she just say? I have no idea what she just said. 
um, when she kind of does that thing. And there's just certain moments where just subtitles would be very useful for the game, guys. Um, the game does have Steam achievements. I think I mentioned that. No Steam cards. Um, you can get the game, guys, right now for $19.99. The expansion's coming in April. The deluxe edition with, um, you know, the car, no, with the back behind the scenes and arts and all that good kind of stuff, guys. Like I said, it's a good game. I enjoyed it. It just has a lot of currently day one issues that need to be fixed. And a couple things that need to be added, like subtitles for sure, guys. But otherwise, I think you will enjoy this game, guys. I just want to say big thanks to the developer for a chance to check out the style. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share, guys, and I'll keep bringing you awesome indie games, guys. If you really enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting up that tip jar if you're feeling generous of heart. All tips go to improving the channel or future giveaways, guys. Till next time, play more indie games.